Yeah. Now, if you look at everyone, one problem we have done regarding median, that actually I didn't check with the frequency properly there, but explained it in terms of general median problem. That method you understood? Same method you have to use for median as it is. Right. The answer will be wrong because the question was quite different there. Right. Same question again I am repeating. Actually, this is the twisting question. 6 to 8, less than 6 came, less than 8, less than 6, that problem. So, I am writing directly class interval this time. 8 to 10, 10 to 12, 12 to 14, 14 to 16, 16 to 18 was given in that. Frequency was 2, 6, 12, 22, 42, 67, 76. And they are asking you to find out the median, actually graph also. See here, actually that question when I was solving, I didn't check the frequency order. See, whenever frequency is increasing, see, 6 to 12 increasing, 12 to 22. So everywhere frequency increasing now, that means it is not frequency, it is cumulative frequency. Getting my point? Right, so in that if you listen the video later on, in app also, method is same. Right? That is for median only. Method is correct but only. If frequencies are like this, you do the way I say you. Generally, if frequencies are mixed up, you do that method only, general method. Right? Mixed up means here 5, here 15, here 10, here 8, increasing, decreasing, no? So that is general problem. So whenever frequencies are increasing, decreasing randomly, then that is general question. If frequencies are increasing continuously, it is not straightforward question. So whatever this list is given, it is not the frequency, it is cumulative frequency. That means they gave cumulative frequency, they didn't give frequency to you. Getting my point everyone? So in generally what they do, frequency they will give cumulative frequency, you will find out. Now they give cumulative frequency, frequency we have to find out. Getting? So for that straightforward concept will be there. See here everyone. Now, first, you can do this in two methods. Two you write down as it is. Right. Then, six minus two you do. Four. Getting my point? When cumulative frequency given, you are finding out frequency. You have to do like this. Next, twelve minus six you do. What is the answer? 6. Next, 22 minus 12 you do. 10. Next, 42 minus 22 you do. Understanding? Ulta, ulta ki jana apne ko. Niche so par minus karte ho jana hai. 42 minus 22. Next, 67 minus 42. 76 minus 67. So, how much you get? 9. So, these are your frequency. Getting my point? Once you get frequency, you know this is our actually n value now. Cumulative frequency last step will be always n value. If we add this, you must get that. In ko add karenge na, to 76 si aana chahiye. 76 aa gaya to correct step. Chalo add karke dekho. 10, 20, 40, 42. 40 to 50 to 62, 67, 67 plus 9, 76. Matching now? Right, if you add, if design this matching, then your steps are correct. Right, now again same process, n by 2, 76 by 2, that is how much? 38. So now you see, here in this list you see now, because you always should check cumulative frequency. Which number is bigger than 38? First, bigger than 38 is 42. So this is your median class. Okay? Now this is your median class. You know L value, H value, F value, CF value will be this. Preceding class. Median class ke upar wale ko CF lena hai. Right. So this is CF, this is F. And solve it. Clear at this point everyone? Right, so substitute in the formula. 
What is the formula? L plus n by 2 minus Cf by F into H. Got with this? So, clear? Whenever values are increasing continuously, that values are nothing but cumulative frequency values. If randomly mixed up, then they are frequency. Clear? So, same problem I explained there in that method, there are didn't check with the frequency. Right? Clear? The method is correct, but not applicable to this particular question. Everyone clear with it now? Okay, just observe for 30 seconds.